In this episode, I explore the beautiful island of Dong Kong, seeing how the people live. As well as that, I find a secret monk living in the hills of the island and play some good old football with the lads. Enjoy. Here I am in Dong Kong at this restaurant opposite the Dong Kong guest house where I stayed last night. And when I see absolute beauty, it, it, it takes my breath away. And I see this as the perfect place to get my work done. I've already eaten, you know, great, for, great little table for it as a desk because I could put the mouse there as well. Really great working. And I just look out onto that view right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of hours of work done and then explore around the island, see if there's anything around here. Just jump on the motorcycle, drive around, see what there is. And then uh, tomorrow we'll get off to, you know, Dondet. Let's get on with it. Say the work is finished. Let's go explore Hong Kong. It's the next day, and I'm staying at Hong Kong Guest House on Hong Kong Island. And I'd say I really, really like the room. Like, come on. So I like the small comfortableness of this room. You know, it has a nice bed really soft pillows you know it even has the door going out to the bow that go to the back on the balcony and then you go out to the front area oh and the views amazing now as well as that it has a sit down area over there where you can sit down chill uh, the bathroom is quite old but it is what it is you know for the price of 120,000 you're not going to get much more um, and yeah like Really, really like this and then opposite there is the restaurant that I'm staying at or the restaurant that he at today. Brilliant, yeah, great food, amazing. It's owned by two of the cutest couple, I gotta say, the two old people, really lovely, very traditional Lao people and nicest people that you'll ever meet. Hi. Tamarai, got me. Mo pig. Mo pig or ben gin. Tea tea ranahan, you know shall I? Yeah. This is the lady I'm talking about. Such a lovely old lady. You know, she owns this place. Really lovely. How many should I have? Should I? Mayor Campio. Mayor Really lovely lady. Yeah, came in last night. She was like, ah, oh, come on, come, come, come. And just come in, yeah. Just give me some uh, papier this morning. Uh, yeah, give me lots of fruit. Like a, like your old grandma, like your old mum. I need more gun man, huh? One gun man. Many more and come in, look up and look up, my ah, my king cow. So lovely. Happy days. Let's go and explore Dong Kong. Let's go. I jumped on my bike and I started to explore the island. I love how simple it is here and how people are living basic life. They don't need much to be happy here. And that's one of the things I really, really liked about the island is just the simplicity of it. That dirt road got up the hill, came to here. And this guy's got a cool little house here. Oh, oh. Pack you in here. Oh, and he said yard. Oh, and he said yard. After sitting down with this monk, I didn't even realize the time passing. I spent over an hour with him just chatting, you know, sharing his story, sharing my journey. 
and it's really amazing to see his perspective on life and how he sees things as well as how simple he lives and how happy he is it was truly inspiring to meet a character like him amazing guy got my hot chocolate too some oil tea it's too hot it's a great conversation. Enjoy, enjoy. I didn't catch much prior to this because I just saw these kids playing football and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to play football with them, see if I can play along and although the ball was flat, it was a great time I had with them, spend a few hours with them, good old game of football with the lads. Gonna go buy a new football with these boys here. Play some real football, eh? Two ball man, come on. Yo! Ah, I? I need a diga. I need a Ni 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 ni. Ni ni ba. Ah, oh, da da da. Come see. Okay. Me. Okay, come chat it. Ba, Berlin. Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. Berlin, Berlin. What a way to end the day. Good old game of football with the lads is a language anybody can speak. After that, I went back off to my guest house and then got ready for the next day. With that said, I'll see you in the next episode. In the next episode, I visit the famous 4,000 Islands, experiencing the chilled out lifestyle of the island as well as taking things to the extreme by ziplining across some dangerous rapids and finishing it all off with a cruise up the river to take in one of the best sunsets I've experienced to date. See you there.